Welcome everybody back to Does What It Likes, and today we are unboxing the King Kong and Godzilla by NECA. I really thought the movie was so-so, but I really wanted to do my own version of the movie, so let's get to reviewing these figures. Here's a quick spin of the box, and most of what we get is the standard figure photo design in front with the door opening up so you can see the figure in a large window, and then all around are shots of the figure. Alright, you know what time it is. By the way, this channel is now an affiliate with Hobby Link Japan. They carry Figmas, Nendroids, Scale Figures, Loot Figures, and even to my surprise, some Loot Bedroom Toys. So if you're looking to buy some waifus, then click the link down below and help support this channel so we can continue doing degenerate things. Next we have the figures in their clear inner packaging and everything you could see from the front window is exactly what you get on the inside. I would say definitely that the accessories are lacking for this figure as Godzilla downright sucks uh, with no accessories uh, but King Kong does a little bit better with an extra head and extra hands. Starting off with the accessories, we see that King Kong does come with the head that I mentioned before. So one is a roaring expression, and the other one is kind of a dumbfounded expression. Not really sure. And then he also comes with fists, and then these open hands. As for Peyton Sculpt, King Kong's details are flawless and even has a little bit of battle damage lesions on his chest, which looks awesome. Overall, I really like all the sculpted hair details throughout the figure, and that looks natural and very well done. In contrast though, Godzilla is reptilian, so he has scales all around. He is mostly a dark ocean blue shade with some lighter gray on his abdomen and more sensitive parts. Overall he looks okay, but what I'd complain about is that his tail is damn long. It's kind of hard to get it into the shot. As for range of motion, King Kong is outstanding. His knees and elbows are both double jointed and so you get some great articulation with that. Godzilla on the other hand though is an absolute potato. He looks fine standing still, but when you go to bend any of the arms and legs, particularly at the hips and shoulders, the aesthetic is severely broken and it almost looks a little bit ridiculous. This is my first Godzilla though, so I don't know if that's the norm, but let me know what you guys think of that. Anyways, enough talking, let's get on to the stop motion. Sir, Godzilla has destroyed all of our intercepting attacks. He's destroyed our ground army, tanks, bunkers, jet fighters. Shit, he's even destroyed our nuclear warheads. Well, there's nothing we can do now to stop Godzilla or King Kong. We must accept what we can't stop. Yeah, let them fight. Sir, we're detecting another kaiju signature. Holy fucking shit! It's our waifu, Super Sonico! Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you! Fuck you! God damn! She's even more beautiful as a giant! I'm so thankful to be alive at this very moment! <laughs> You're cute!
Let's get out of here, man. So this is the end of my life? To be squashed by my waifu? I accept this fully. Oh, oh, so this is how I die. Please, everyone, speak of my glory. And let us make a special thank you to the epic voice actors in this degenerate stop motion. A big thank you to Wen Ding, who doesn't currently have contact information out yet, as he does prefer to approach creators himself, but I just wanted to say, you're awesome. All the links to reach our wonderful voice actors will be in the description below, so please go and support all of their content, because remember, without these voice actors, our original pieces would not be possible. So there they are next to Figma Major. There they are next to The Mandalorian. There they are next to Michael Myers by NECA. There they are next to Reika from Gantz. And lastly, there they are next to One Force Scare Ryoko, the bunny version. Alright, so overall, I like the King Kong figure pretty well. His posing is dynamic, his paint and sculpt are perfect, and he comes at a pretty decent price of about 25 bucks. Godzilla, on the other hand, though, is uh, limited in articulation. The paint and sculpt is just okay, and he is much tinier than King Kong, making him very unintimidating. If I were to choose to go with one or the other, I would definitely go for King Kong. Anyways, if that sounds up your alley, both are pretty cheap in the $25 to $35 range. Otherwise, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts, follow me on my figure collection, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, and so ends another Does What It Likes review. Hope you liked it. What'd you think, Mr. Executioner? How about you? Or you? Well, my guests seem to be a bit busy at the moment. Please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram, My Figure Collection. Like, comment, and share. And if you're really into this degeneracy, hit the bell.